Hi everyone, Morten Allstad here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to an unboxing of a box set. So, um, yeah. So that was the long story about that, but as you can see, it is taking a while to open this. So what is this? Well, as some of you have probably noticed from my my uh, previous uh, videos, and of course from my hat, <laughs> I love uh, the Pixies, and um, I uh, I have all their studio albums. I have. Um, live at the BBC, I have some other live stuff, and I have ventured over to the Breeders, of course, and I have uh, all of their studio albums on CD. Uh, but I also have a few vinyl records, and even more CDs by Frank Black, or Black Francis. Uh, but I, yeah, I would... Uh, I would say that I probably I do listen to his first two solo albums a lot. I think they're brilliant, and they they to me represent what what could have been with the Pixies if he hadn't uh, you know uh, uh, broken up the band uh, back back then when he did, and um, then his uh, solo work becomes. Let's say less direct, a little more. Um, yeah, yeah, less less direct, more uh, complicated music, maybe, or maybe even more uh, less complicated. I don't know exactly what I mean. So, but I would say that mostly, and it it. Pains me to say so. I would mostly say that I think that the records that he made as a solo artist, or you know, his collaborative projects over the years, were um, better and more memorable than the Pixies albums we've had after the Pixies reformed. Maybe not technically and musically. But as far as song songwriting and um, melodies and so on, yeah. And I, I don't and I don't like I don't like saying uh, feeling like I have have to do I have to I don't have to say critical things about uh, Pixies because I I love that band and I I buy everything he releases as the Pixies. Uh, on both CD and, and vinyl, and I do listen to it a lot, but, you know, you keep going back to those original four gems uh, from from the, from the early days. But anyway, this is what I got today, finally. Um, it's uh, Frank Black and the Catholics. This is uh, the complete studio albums. Newly remastered from original tapes by Phil uh, Kinraid at Alchemy Mastering. It's seven LPs plus a 32-page booklet featuring new liner notes by Ken Mumphrey and previously unseen photographs by Steve Gullick. And they're all pressed on 180-gram cl oh, clear vinyl. Okay, uh, so there you are. And uh, here's the back with the albums which are aren't they third fourth fifth sixth seventh and eighth album yeah i think so. I, yeah my my um chronological knowledge of uh, of his uh, discography is uh lacking <laughs> sorry Uh, 
I yeah I do own all of these on CD. A couple of them are uh, not the best looking one. They were let's say they they were well used when I found them in a second hand record store. <laughs> I, I actually think yeah, and a couple of them actually got on Discogs as well. And I think only two of them were brand new when I got them. So, let's see here. We are... I love the music he makes. The whole mood of the thing and so you yeah. taking one album and then pictures from those I think. And there's yeah the first one is called uh just call Frank Black and the Catholics. Uh second one is Pistolero. Dog in the Sand. Black Letter Days. That's the one I'm unsure if I have on CD. Huh. <laughs> Then we got uh, Devil's Workshop. Now there are several other uh, Frank Black or Black Francis related records other than these. These are, you know, obviously the Frank Black and the Catholics records. Then you have more uh, records just called Frank Black or Black Francis. And he did some collaborations. Did he? Did he do? An, uh, did he make an album with uh, his wife? Wife. Frank Black and the Catholics, a nice shine there on the on the lettering. Frank Black um, vocals, guitar left. Scott Boudier drums, David McCaffrey bass and backing vocals and uh, Lyle Workman guitar right <laughs> so here we go cool hi hi <laughs> Pistolero Dog in the Sand. This is a great, great album cover, I think. I love this. And we have... 
black letter days. Yeah, it seems same same um, uh, lineup. Devil's Workshop. So when, I mean, he's not singing about uh, well, <laughs> Mexican Latino themes, uh, aliens, um, the desert. There is often a religious thing going on. Absolutely no. And the only gatefold of the bunch. Although this is not a double. <laughs> so Frank Black and the Catholics, show me your tears. And again, transparent and the label. So, yes, really happy to have this in my collection. Um, great, great uh, albums uh, among these. And uh, as I said, I think one of them I don't think I've ever heard before. So, uh, um, yeah, uh, great addition to my Pixies slash. Uh, Frank Black, uh, Black Francis uh, collection there. Not at all a bad price. So if you're interested in checking that one out, I think um, in most most uh, instances you and places you go, you you will be fairly uh, pleased by by the price of it. So anyway, guys, please leave a comment. Um, please uh, click like and subscribe. And I hope to see you soon in another video. Bye.